KFBX News Channel 18. Weather from where you live. Well, after the leftovers of that big, severe weather event in the plains yesterday moved through overnight and this morning, we're in a bit of a lull right now, but notice a couple storms northeast of Rensselaer. This is a squall line that is trying to form just off to our northwest and west. But you'll notice in Illinois, we are still in good shape. But if we broaden out a little bit and show you where the watches and warnings are at, first of all, let's focus on the watches and warnings. Pink box, severe thunderstorm watch. Yellow box, tornado watch. And the orange boxes are severe thunderstorm warnings. Notice we are getting some warnings now here near St. Louis. And notice the pops, a few here. Pop, 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 pop. Notice right here, right in this area, a squall line, as you can see, is trying to form, and it's this squall line right ahead of our cold front that will affect us during the evening hours. So from this point right now until 11 p.m., we are fair game for severe weather as this squall line begins to assemble off to the west, at the very least a broken squall line, and this will move off to the east right through the evening hours. But by 11 o'clock, the cold front should be moving through, and the severe weather threat will start to come to an end. And we can see that with live Doppler 18 future cast. Again, right here, the little squall line moving over our southeast counties at 11 o'clock. And there's the cold front moving through. That will move through during the overnight hours. Tomorrow looks fine. A calm day. Highs in the upper 70s with partly cloudy skies. But it begins to cloud up tomorrow night. And the front's going to come back at us as a warm front. So showers and thunderstorms developing Wednesday morning, lasting into Wednesday afternoon, and some of the rain could be rather heavy. And also, from Lafayette points west and south, there is the potential of some severe weather due to a lot of wind shear and also some instability. So bottom line is, uh, a few severe thunderstorms will exist, mainly over our southern and western counties, by Wednesday afternoon, as well as Thursday. But tonight, though, we've got the storms coming through again between about now and 11 p.m. as the line develops. Then it will start to calm down, partly cloudy later tonight, lows around 60, partly cloudy, pleasant tomorrow, a nice northwest wind drying in the upper 70s. But there's a severe weather threat, mainly south and west of Lafayette, not only Wednesday, but also Thursday and some heavy rain as possible as well. Then it stays dry, but it really gets hot, 87 by Monday. And then by next Tuesday, a week from now, it looks like we may be in store for another round of storms. And the wind fields and the instability are conducive for severe weather the next Tuesday. So it seems like every few days or so.